Hi guys! Hi guys! So I'm here with my mom today, as you guys can see. That's me. Yeah, pretty exciting because it's her birthday month. It's just so weird hearing Lucifer say, Hi! Ugh, Deb. Yeah, mom, you excited for your birthday? I love my birthday. <laughs> I love my birthday. Yes, she does love her birthday. So yeah, we. I wanted to like you know give her a really good birthday. Of course, I want my mom to have a great birthday. I thought I'd like give her like a birthday makeover. Oh, oh, do I need a makeover? Oh well, not that she needs one because you know beautiful I'm the already. I'm type women of the Today <laughs> Show when they go in the crown, they pick a lady up. Oh, I forgot about that. That would be me. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm. It was to be. They pick the woman that really needs it. That's me. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Of course. I brought her to the hair salon. We're about to go in. It's very, very strange to see a 60-something-year-old woman act like this. I mean, when she first said it was her birthday, did you notice the little jump that she did? In per like, uh, the four-year-olds. year four year olds Four-year-olds, four-year-olds jumping down. Oh, presents, yay, birthday, Christmas. Not 60-something-year-old. <laughs> oh, my. And I think today she's getting, like, what are you getting today, Mom? I think, like, a like a cut, right? And some color. And color, yeah, and color. And so. Color. Speaking of color... If I look a little ethereal today, I don't know what's going on. Apparently my green screen doesn't like yellow. Probably has something to do with the color wheel, but oh well. Yellow's what I wore today, so yellow's what you're getting. On the other hand, though, some color we can do something about is Deb. Look at this. Yeah, I'm going to be taking her to the salon to do that. We're about to go in. Here we go. Yeah. Guys, like, I'm going to show you, like, what I brought in the car today. Mom, is it my friend? Oh, like, yes, your friend. Isn't she cute? She's so cute. Here she is, you guys. Oh, we can't see your face. <laughs> um, She's shy. <laughs> okay, I bought her pretty recently. She's so, so cute. Shy. She is the Sanrio My Melody, like, Sailor Moon collab plush. I had a buyer. I know I still have the price tag on, but, like, I don't know if I should take it off because, like, it's a really cute cute price tag. I know people are always like making fun of me for like the price tags, but look at the price tag guys. It's so cute. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and yeah, we yeah. gotta be in there in two minutes. Like now Sailor Moon, we talk a lot about Eugenia's style and where she draws her inspiration from for things like her makeup, her hair, and the clothes that she wears. Sailor Moon is more anime, right? I thought Eugenia was more MySpace kind of Jeffree Star pre-YouTube, Broken Side, things like that. I didn't know that anime and the goth world collabed at one point. Huh. I remember Sailor Moon from like when I, I mean, Sailor Moon, what, the 90s? Because I remember I had a Sailor Moon doll when I was like four or five. <laughs> that was the beginning of the end. It's like about our time to go in. It's our time. All right, I guess we'll show you guys how she came out after. So I guess, is she both? Is is Eugenia an anime girl and gothic? Hmm. No and, worries. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it. All right, you guys, so we're in the salon. So here we are, waiting. Oh no, it's all like those allergies. I've been having that some days too. Oh, I'm so bad. Not fun. I wake up some days and like, not breathe at all. It's not fun. I don't know if that's because of allergies. Hey, let's go celebrate. All right, let's go. Okay. What thank are we gonna you. do now? What do you want to do now, mom? Shop. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on. Thank you again so much. Of course. And now we are for my mom's birthday. Now it, it's just very strange because it's so obvious that she is not that kind of person. She is not that sweet older lady. Hi, how are you? Do you want something to eat? Come on inside. She's not that. No. <laughs> the, only, the, the one time that someone tried to intervene and help Eugenia in the past five years, the mom got on the phone and was calling her an F and B. I, 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 like, <laughs> you hear stories like that and then you see them on camera and they're like, hello. It's like, clearly you're wearing a mask. <laughs> we're here like okay 
Now, I'm not dogging on what she's wearing. I'm genuinely curious. How would you wash something like this? This gigantic studded black jacket with red broken hearts all around it. I mean, it's cool. It's it's cool for like a concert, you know, the right scenario and everything. In terms of everyday streetwear, this is probably something I would not see. But hey, it's Eugenia Cooney style. I'm genuinely curious, though. I mean, how would you wash something like this? There's no way. I mean, the studs would fall out in the washer. No. How, how would you do? I, I'm I'm genuinely curious. If any of you have something like this, like how do you? <laughs> How do you wash that? On this like avenue. It's the avenue. That's yeah, the avenue in our town. It's also funny to see Eugenia <laughs> dressed like a member of AFI out of some toy store uh, called Funky Monkey. <laughs> it is busy mom. today. It's like so busy. We're we were so looking. busy. Can we get space? How long we did we finally try to get space? space? Great rides around the avenue. Yeah, it took a long time. It's like big rides. We'll so we got one now, and we come back tomorrow. Yeah, so we, we almost got a home, space. but yeah, we're excited. We, we got, got a parking money space. In the meter. Exciting. And we should go shopping. So, yeah, I think we're gonna do some shopping now and look around. I think I I'm already gonna buy street. my mom. Is like Sephora? Oh, yeah. I'll let you talk. Around. Okay. Yeah. So my mom, like, she's cool with like whatever gifts I give her. But I noticed a Louis Vuitton bag that she really liked. So I was thinking. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, first of all, she has a she's carrying a Louis right now. I don't know if you can see it because of my head. Here, let me like move. She's she doesn't really pan the camera down to ever show it, but I noticed it here. Well, the freaking subtitles. Why are subtitles on? Okay, yeah. In here, you can you can see it's a Louis bag right here. Um are you serious? You're going to buy me a Louis bag? Louis bag? I mean, Deb is more entitled to Eugenia's money at this point than Eugenia is. She's the one who facilitates all of this and makes it possible. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I mean, what's $2,000 of Eugenia's monthly income for Deb to get a Louis bag? I mean, she drives her everywhere. She makes Eugenia want to live the lifestyle that she wants to live possible. Um, does everything for her. It, like, shields her from the rest of the world, essentially. What's what's too grand? We're going to do some shopping now and look around. I think I'm already going to buy street? my mom. Is like, some support? Oh, are you thinking. serious? Yeah. You know, so I'd have to, so or I'm going to order it up, but yeah, you know, if you like it, then yeah, but it's so much I don't mind though. So like, They're it's going okay. Up. They went up. They it's keep okay. going up. I know. I mean, Eugenia doesn't pay rent. Eugenia doesn't have a car payment. Eugenia, I mean, I'd imagine that she has some type of health insurance. Well, um, I mean, really, what expenses does Eugenia have other than... I mean, just buying, like, stuffed animals and Hot Topic, like, decor for her room. I mean, really, where, where does all that money go to? I mean, the, the cute outfits, like, the, the crazy t-shirts that she can get from Spencer's or something. I mean, really, what's two grand? What's two grand? All day of the Country's best, crazy. Um, Prices are crazy. But I guess today we're gonna do some more shopping. Okay, before you order, we'll see if we can find something. Well, it's something probably a still ordered too, but you know, we're gonna celebrate. I see Sephora right behind. You wanna go to Sephora, Mom? Yeah, I think we're gonna start there today. Okay, sounds great. All right. Let's see how we do. All right, you guys, we just got into Sephora. Sorry, this lighting is like, whoa, it is dark. Um, isn't it cold in here? Yeah, it's, gonna, it's so nice today. Outside it's like 77 degrees or something, but in here I'm like... <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna look around, see what they have. Oh, look mom, yeah, Gucci makeup. <laughs> Okay, small theory. I have absolutely nothing to back this up. Again, I'm very new to Eugenia and Deb at this point. But do we think that Deb is kind of, in a way, living vicariously through Eugenia? Because this video is 11 months old. So this was, you know, 
last year. But I've noticed in, I've only seen a few of Eugenia's videos, but I've noticed in two of the maybe six videos I've watched on her channel, they've gone into Sephora and bought a whole bunch of makeup and fragrances and things like that, skincare. Do you think at one point, like earlier in life, this Deb woman was like trying to be like all that? Like, I don't know, like, and it's not just because she has blonde hair either. Like, I'm not just picking on blondes, but like, do we think that she was very look obsessed or continues to be very look obsessed? And then she kind of projects that onto her daughter. You know how, you know how like the captain of the football team grows up, he marries the head cheerleader, they have kids and then they have a boy and then they want that boy to be the, you know, state champion quarterback. Like they, they project what they want in life onto their kids. I mean, there's, there's dozens of different examples like that, but do we think that the mom is trying to, trying to do that with her? I know that that's kind of a stretch theory just from them going into Sephora twice, but I just have to try to wrap my head around as a viewer the rationale why Deb has this fixation with wanting to facilitate Eugenia's life. Because early on, when, like the first couple of videos I watched of these two, I wasn't really sure. I was like, is Eugenia the one with the upper hand? Is she the one calling all the shots? Is the mom just blindly following like an oaf? I, I, I don't know. But really, I think that the mom, like of the power balance between the two, I think that the mom is kind of first place in terms of Eugenia. So I just like, I want to understand this woman's motivations. Oh, look, Mom. Yeah, Gucci makeup. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, they make blue now? Is that blue? It's kind oh of blue. Gosh, it is blue. I don't know they made blue. Yeah, like that one. yeah they make this blue. This one purple. look good on you. That's pretty, yeah. That one's great for you. Yeah, that is really pretty. This one's pretty for you, too. Oh, yeah, the bright pink. That's so pretty. They look very matte. Yeah, they look oh, really nice. I like more here. I like, like, oh, this Oh, that color. could look really this good in you all. That might be too bright for me. Well, you like those kind of colors, like though, don't you? Coral, that's not too she picks up, like, five different shades of lipstick. That would look great on you. That would look good on you. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. Oh, my God. Really, Eugenia? Is everything going to look good on Deb? <laughs> if I go out shopping with someone and I'm trying to get thoughts or opinions on something, if they're telling me that everything looks good, that's not a good friend to go shopping with. Yeah, it looks nice. They have nudes, too. Pat McGrath, yeah, sparkly. Oh yeah, very sparkly. Looks pretty. Anastasia, ooh. Yeah, they make other ones, but they're like not here. I guess things are more mute now. Small selection. Oh, what? Did you buy a YSL bag today? Oh, it kind of works out. It does. I do. You're looking good, girl. Thank you. I guess it all goes together. It is time to look around. YSL lipsticks. That's, That's pretty. That's a pretty one. That is pretty. That be the one I like. I have one of these that I really Oh, nice. Like. Yeah. What's the name? I can't see. You I want like it more. They're not too bright, but they give you a little pink. The other one I like is Givenchy. Oh, okay. Do they carry them here? I mean, if they're casually walking around buying designer fragrances, designer skincare, and designer cosmetics, and she just casually pulls out her YSL bag, the mom has a Louis bag, and they're talking about buying another Louis bag, I think that these two spend a lot of Eugenia's income. Well, I don't know if the mom has income of her own, but... Ooh, that's, that's a good question. Does the mom work? Did the mom work? Or is she kind of like Eugenia's manager? Like, you know how Kris Jenner was their momager and would take a percentage? Like, do they just do that? Because really, I mean, Eugenia's lifestyle and the decisions she makes and who she is as a person would not be possible without someone else. I'm, I want to use that E word. That E word. That word that starts with an E. Enabling her. Yeah, we got Armani over there. Oh, look at these! Are cool. they oh, wow! They're, like, cool. they're like square. That is cool. I love Armani foundation. I do too. Their colors I find. Yeah, their lipsticks. Like I love their foundation too. But. 
Okay. Thank you. Yeah, they are really pretty lipsticks. I like two men and I like two shine. All right, guys, we, we may have to either speed this up or get through Sephora. There's, a, there's only so many shades of lipstick that I can hear Eugenia say, wow, to. You're cool. I'm very cool, cool. yeah. Cool oh, you're fine. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Oh, hi guys, I just met this like awesome girl. What's your name? Chloe Bailey. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I, I like your nipple. Well oh, time. thank you. Oh, gosh, of course, yeah. You're amazing. Oh, thank you, you are too. <laughs> and your outfit is sick. Thank you so much, yours is <laughs> too. It's really pretty. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Ah! <laughs> are you kidding me? The girls were wearing the most generic black outfit ever. You're really pretty, look at this outfit. <laughs> Can we look at that one more time? See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. The false sense of endearment and pushing the positivity on everyone, even though it's not warranted. That's not a good way. You're not being genuine. I mean, really. This girl is... <laughs> look at this girl's in the background looking. <laughs> like, what the heck is going on? Of course, yeah. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. You are too. And your outfit is sick. Thank you so much. Yours is too. It's really pretty. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You work here, right? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, oh and I love God. your mix. Literally, the, the required uniform you have to wear to work there. <laughs> your outfit. Wow. Necklace. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so a Disney cute. adult. <laughs> oh, same here. Like a lot of people make fun of me oh for it. Like, hey. right, you guys, I just met that girl. She works at Sephora. She was so. so I recently became friends with a Disney adult. He, um, I, I did not know that this existed. I thought that Disney was always just somewhere that couples take their kids with, and then they bring them in strollers and they spend way too much money and it's a hundred degrees and they're screaming and there's crying and there's arguing. That's just what I always thought Disney was. Apparently, apparently Disney with kids versus Disney as an adult two different worlds i did not know this um new friend recently told me he is a disney vacation club member and it, 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 there's like this whole world of like disney rewards and perks i didn't even know existed you you have to spend like so much money and then you're like a member for life or something and you get like I, I don't know if it's like money towards staying at resorts or money toward like food or whatever at the parks, but there's this whole world of Disney that I didn't I didn't know existed. Let me know if I have any Disney adults or Disney um are they called vacation club Disney vacation club members. Hmm. So nice. We just took a picture and everything. She told me there's actually a super sale. I guess it's a four today. This is the new lash that it was like supposed to be. Ooh. Did you need to get something? Not really. So what are we doing here then? I thought you wanted to go. Well, I saw the so you always come here. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I think I have most. You ready to? Okay. Get going. This one, how pretty this is. Oh, that is really pretty. Like, Ooh. You try, you try, you try that I try. Stuff. It was really, it's very colorful. Natasha Denona. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Really skin fetish, subline, highlight. Good. CVS. Oh, you want to go to CVS, Bob? <laughs> no. Okay. I think I need it. Yeah. Like <laughs> dogs you look. Oh my yeah, gosh, that is. dog is so cute. Buzz would have but, a crush. Buzz would love dog. that dog. That's like the kind of dog that Buzz like always Buzz goes crazy. crazy. Oh, so they didn't even get anything. All oh, that Sephora. Cute, cute, cute. To not buy anything. He's like, oh, the dog is so cute. I love these kind of dogs. What a cute dog! Oh God, I'm going. I'm gonna go crazy. Everything's cute. The, these guys' shoes, cute. His shorts. Oh, th that's the cutest outfit I've ever seen. This harness on the dog. <laughs> cute. The leash attached to it. Cute. The sidewalk the dog is walking on. <laughs> you guessed it. Cute.
<laughs> oh, yeah, he's beautiful, of course. Oh, well, yeah, he's a beautiful dog. Oh, Ooh. yeah, their roses are so pretty and there's so much paint. It's oh, all the crowns so pretty. I love all the flowers here. Ever after, what is this? Oh, yo yo trick. Oh my gosh, we need that, mom. That's the best gift. Oh, fidget. Oh, wait. Oh my god, do you know what that made me think of? Um, it was in the last video I did where it was like uh she was telling her story about like the ja it was like ja it was covering Jacqueline Glenn and then she was talking about how girls were mean to her in high school and she said that I don't know if this was frequently or for if this just happened once but she said that the mean girls in high school that would um taunt her and bully her or whatever they hit her in the head with a yo-yo that's like the first thing that came to mind yeah, uh, that would hurt yo-yos are like hard plastic right Gosh, I cannot remember the last time I played with a yo yo. It lights out? What are those? Oh, it must be the new thing. Oh, I never heard of those. Oh my gosh. Is it like okay. a stress toy? Might be. I mean, I kind of like stress toys because, like, you know. I do. He's a gorgeous dog. Oh, what a cute dog. Yes. So many cute dogs outside today. Yeah, so cute. Of course. Man Freddy. Ooh. Those are pretty. Is, is this what this whole video is? Just window shopping? I mean, I, I guess not that I really care if they buy anything or not. I, it's just, it's just, I don't know. There, there's a difference between vlogs where people go shopping and buy things that they actually want slash need and Eugenia Cooney walking up to everything that she sees and saying, ooh. Pretty? You this like mom? where our neighbor got his forty thousand dollar Rolex. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, mom, I feel so bad because like I see your bruise. Like oh, it's some of the that bruise. This is not. Oh, not that one. The oh, other one. The other one. The oh, that one. I think. Though your leg one's even worse. But yeah. But yeah, I feel so bad. You don't make comments like that unless you kind of have an ear for it. You know what I mean? Like, that was a very strange comment to make. This is the store where our neighbor got his $40,000 Rolex. Well, first of all, how do you know how much that Rolex costs? Um, why do you know that he has it? Like, wh what's the context behind you knowing that? And then what made that register in your head for you wanted to, to repeat it now? I mean, that's like a very selective piece of information. Just kind of strange, kind of strange. Trying, I'm just trying to piece together who Deb is. Just, you know, I mean, is she money hungry? Is she superficial? Does she have a huge ego? I I'm really just trying to figure out who she is. I need to pick up on little things like this. Bad because like the other day. Oh, <laughs> very pretty. The other day, um, my mom was taking Buzz for a walk and Buzz is like very strong. So he kind of like pulled at her and she fell like straight down. Um, she came in with like an ice pack. Oh Oh, hi! I know you from like the internet. Oh, no way! Yeah. Do you um, want to say hi to my video? Awesome. Hi! Thank you. <laughs> hi, what's your name? My name is Cindy. Oh, hi. I it's didn't nice ever to meet you. I see you in this area. Yeah, I actually live around here. So. No way. Yeah, actually. Oh, wait, yeah, like Connecticut. I yeah. Remember in Canada. I was like, oh, she's from Yeah, actually, here. in this town. So. No way. Yeah, okay, actually. Cool. It was nice seeing you. Oh, you it's amazing. Nice to, thank and you so I wish much. You all the best with everything. Oh, you too. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, she was really nice to meet you guys. I'm like, I didn't expect people to like to meet people today, but I guess we're. Uh, that sounded like a loaded compliment. I wish you the be looks. Her look. She looked Eugenia up and down and said, "I wish you the best with everything." That's not. That, <laughs> that's not something you say to someone just, you know, willy nilly. Like I, I don't know. I feel like if I were to see someone that I knew from YouTube or from the internet or whatever, ran into them in public, I mean, it wouldn't be, I wish you the best with everything. I mean, that would be something you would say to someone that's going through something. It, but she kind of passed it off as just a compliment. But like, I see you, girl. I see you, Cindy. Cindy meeting people so that's cool basically my mom had a really bad fall though i don't want to like Let's get go. hit by a car no. so i should okay, probably be careful attention. i am i'm trying not to get Make hit we are safe people 
Yeah. Right, Sorry, Mom? We're so one. safe. Yep. Look both okay. ways. Anyways, my poor mom she, like fell down because uh, Buzz kind of pulled her. I guess he didn't do it on purpose. Like he's such a nice dog, but he gets excited. I was talking to a neighbor. Yeah, you were talking to a and neighbor. I you were talking to the neighbor about his forty thousand dollar Rolex, and then the dog pulled you and you fell. Go, Buster, go. So I kind of relaxed the leash a little, thinking that Buzz would be a good boy. And there was another dog that he was talking to. Was I don't actually dog, know. I guess adorable, cute, well-behaved dog. And they were fine. And we're yakking. And then suddenly, he pulls. I had no idea. I couldn't stop. And he kept pulling. I couldn't stop. And I'm going downhill. And I crashed. I felt so bad when you came in. I still feel bad because, like, kind of been in pain, right? Oh, God. I hit her neighbor said, don't get up, don't get up. And she got an ice pack for my face. So yeah, you're lucky that's and she drove me home and my leg still hurts and it's a week later and my leg is swollen and it hurts. Yeah, it was pretty bad when you showed me it's Some still been looking kind of. Yeah, because then they said you could die or something, right? Yeah, Which I don't think she will. She's going to be fine, guys, obviously. Kind of like we were not expecting her to have such a bad fall. That oh, isn't fun. Oh, oh. oh. Hoglands, yeah, sure, mom. Wherever you want to go today. Right. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Remember remember when they were looking at the chickens and the bumblebee came over and was going to sting Eugenia and she was like, oh my god, it's going to kill me. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get me. I'm going to die. And then Deb intervened and said, you're not going to die. Not today. <laughs> so really, the dog pulling the leash and making her fall was going to cause blood clots so that she would die. I don't know about that one. Wow, so they got up pretty flowers, pillows. Wow. Right, you guys, nice so we're book. looking around. Oh, those are nice. I know you love this kind of book, so. Oh, this one gardening. Yeah, See, this is a great gift beautiful. for me. Do you want any of them? Yeah, yeah maybe I'll get one. Let me take yeah, a look. Yeah, let me know. This is the thing you like, Ness. I will, yeah, I love Ness. Ness is really good. I have like, oh, they have the one I have. This is like the best hand sanitizer you guys i think that's actually the one i use like the grapefruit run i use it like every day all the time it smells so nice Ooh, that looks so pretty she used to work on wall street then she ended up becoming a designer really yeah oh that's this crazy this would drive me nuts this would drive me up a wall if i was shopping with someone in public and every single thing that they saw a dog hand sanitizer lipstick a book everything was just amazing i might get two do you want to buy me two yeah whatever you want of course I like this one. of course that seems smart. Ooh, it's a candle. Yeah, I love candles. Oh, 100%. I bet that that mom controls her money or facilitates the, facilitates the money or whatever. <laughs> Deb has the debit card in her wallet. Eugenia, do you want to buy this for me? <laughs> like. <laughs> Alfie. Oh, the Amalfi Coast. Ooh, how did they smell? I smell like ocean mist. Sicilian yeah. tangerine. Let me see Sicilian tangerine. Oh, yeah. Next summer we go to Sicily. Let's do it. Yeah, Italy looks like such a nice Look place. Oh, nice. It looks, it's Capri, I think. it looks so pretty there. You've been to Italy, right? You were like everywhere there, oh, I think. I like Amalfi Coast. Smell Let me see. One. I like that one too. It smells so nice. Oh, I I had the opportunity to go to Italy my senior year of high school. And. I don't know if it was it would have been as much. I, I know that it was very expensive to go on this trip. There was like maybe 30 kids that went. It was like five teachers and 30 kids. It was a pretty, you know, large trip or whatever in terms of like a high school field trip. But I was just thinking to myself, if I'm going to go to Europe, if I'm going to spend all this money, I don't want to be over there with teachers breathing down my neck telling me what I should and shouldn't do. Have, you, have any of you done that? Like, have you ever gone on a trip, like, with high school or through college or, I don't know, something, like, where there were, like, rules and regulations and it really just put a damper on your trip? I just feel like if I'm going to do something like that, I want to march to the beat of my own drum. I don't want to have, you know, 
Mrs. Steinmiller tell me like, ah, no, get back here, kids. And it's like, I, I wrote a check for five grand to go on this trip. It's like, no. <laughs> That one's nice tangerine. too, though. Now we got the yeah, thing. I really like that okay. one too. They're both good. My new boyfriend here. He's a stiff. Yeah, he's a stiff. Um, I guess his name is Jim Renault. There's no, I mean, to my knowledge, Eugenia doesn't have a boyfriend or has had a boyfriend. The mom would strike that down immediately. Oh my gosh. Anything that came between her and Eugenia, uh uh, that would get axed immediately. Art? Some type of art. Okay. Yeah, some kind of art. He's pretty cool. This is him. There's cool. another one too. Yeah, I have a second boyfriend too. Uh, I and like, I hope this doesn't come across as mean because I know that she is going through something, but I don't know if Eugenia would even be interested in having a boyfriend or a relationship or anything like that because it seems like priority number one is Eugenia. And really, I mean, would she even care or have the wherewithal to want to be with someone else when she's so focused on herself? Like, does she even have the desire? Actually, have three. So this is Kim Renard also. Um, here he is. And then that's like the other guy here, like on his hand. So yeah, you guys, this is where I meet my guys. People that think it's like, you have no boyfriend or like whatever. Well, here, I can just like meet. What a couple. What a you have no boyfriend. No, you have Deb. Oh, eerie. I can't believe it's already like summer pretty much or like almost summer. I feel like it just became spring. Like, how is that possible? Saks Fifth Avenue. We're going to be going there. Here's the building. Ooh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, here's the store. Thank you. Ooh, so there's Chanel, Balenciaga, Alexander McQueen. You excited, mom? So we're gonna look around Saks. Ooh, that's colorful. Yeah, it's very okay, bright pink. I have a, I mean, are all Saks different? Because uh, the Saks near me, I mean, it's not like an outlet mall, like Tanger Outlet Mall. It's not Balenciaga and Chanel. It's more like Tommy Hilfiger, uh, Calvin Klein, things like that. It's, it's not... But Balenciaga is canceled now, right? Are they still canceled because of the whole, like, little kid thing? I don't know. Can someone let me know if Balenciaga is still canceled? I've never, I've never, you know, really cared. I mean, like, the only context I've ever, like, in that Cardi B song. <laughs> like, if someone were wearing Balenciaga, I probably wouldn't even know what it is. <laughs> Oh yeah, like this one. those are pretty. It's kind of blurred, so we should probably yeah, thirty percent thirty percent off. off. Oh, like thank you. Bag. Who's is that? Stella McCartney. Oh yeah, she has some nice ones. That is pretty. Funky mm -hmm. Monkey. They have Squish Malls, but they. Toys. You need toys. I need toys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we found my mom's store. She yeah. needs toys. Oh no, not the bra strap. Um. So is the mom into the stuffed animals too? Like, does she have a Sailor, Sailor Moon stuffed animal? Is this, Are they like both in on it? By the name is Newborn, a gift. Oh! The newborn shop, but then she has a three-year-old son, Louie. Oh, she might like some of this. Coda's mommy. Jenny oh, Mary. yeah, Coda. So, Coda's the beautiful husky. I, I posted her in my Instagram. Pressure. Which, by the way, I'm not dogging on Sailor Moon. I like Sailor Moon. Very, you know, 90s, early 2000s anime. I grew up with Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball Z. And can I think of a third anime? I'll try to think of a third anime while they talk about whatever and go, ooh, cute! Some story, you guys. But yeah, she's so cute. So now that I can get little Mary a gift, I'll get Louie something here. They have squished mallows. I mean, uh, the, the hamster. The orange, the orange and white hamster. Is that considered an anime? Uh, it's, it's literally called like hamster. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, ham, 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 no, it's not hamster. It's like ham, uh, hamter, ham, ham, tar, ha <laughs> ham, taro, ham, taro. Is ham, taro an anime? Does that count? Is that my third one? Do I win? <laughs> 
mean, I actually love Squishmallows, but I like like the Hello Kitty ones and like the, the kind of franchise ones. Oh, that's this is fun. There's leaves up here. There's like monkeys. I guess that's why it's called Funky Monkey. Look at all the toys. Oh, Mickey. How cute. There's Mickey. I don't know what these games are, but that's cool. Do people still play board games? Oh, I love board games. And uh, Hamtaro is an anime. I win. I win. There's Hello Kitty. Oh my gosh! Wait, where's Hello Kitty? Oh, that, oh, there is Hello Kitty. I have this really cute one, you guys, of like a Hello Kitty like unicorn. Whoa, blurry. Sorry. And I also have a mermaid, and I love sleeping with them. They're actually like super soft. This one's like kind of one of the more regular sized one, but she's cute. All right, mom, you good in the toy store? <laughs> you need your toys, right? At least we saw Hello Kitty though. Yay, she's so excited. Oh my gosh, you you do love garden. Have they bought anything? I mean, did they get anything at Saks? They didn't get anything at Sephora. I don't think that they've bought a single thing. Mom, you found the store you wanted to go to? We gotta go splurge at splurge. Oh, dog, oh, treats. dog treats. Buzz would have loved that. My mom like- You know what? You know what maybe they're doing? Maybe they're buying things and then putting it in the car because they're they're kind of on like a strip and they parked in the middle of it. So maybe they buy something and put the bag in the car. Because you know what? I remember from the video from a week or two ago, the state fair, when she bought that bag of books, the mom had a very difficult time carrying it. And I mean, like, Eugenia's not going to carry it. So I bet that's what they're doing. I bet you if they are buying things, they're putting it in the car and then continuing to walk around so that they don't have to, they don't have to carry things while they walk. Because for the mom, it's, you know, it's physically difficult. And then for, I mean, you know. Apparently really likes this store. So I'm sure they're going to have some good stuff. It's really pretty. Yeah, it looks like a really nice store here. Yeah, yeah, of course, whatever you like. Oh, your dad is. Oh, yeah, dad's dad section. Best dad ever. <laughs> they have baby clothes, but I have to get something. Oh, yeah. I need to. I, I also. That's. Some of you asked about that in the last video I did with about Eugenia. Everyone was asking, like, where's the dad? Where's the, Like, are they divorced? Did he pass? Like, what's the deal with the dad? So I haven't seen a video yet where the dad has been present, but I'm keeping my eye out. I'm keeping my eye out. If any of you can let me know in the comments, hey, we're learning together. This is a group effort. Yeah, those are pretty right here. Yeah. Which goes surprise me, but if I were to pick one, I'd get any of the three. That's good to know. You love the... Oh, these are so pretty. You can't go wrong with a gallery. Art gallery. That is cool. Wow. Yeah, our meter's probably almost out. There's the other dog, like, running. So cute. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Oh, it's like dog day. There's so many dogs oh, out. Well behaved, and then he I know. Up. Buzz, like, he gets, he just goes to go kind of crazy. But he's a good dog. But yeah, he is the best. Yep. Still so many cars. Like, I guess people. I guess people just like really stay here like all day. It's like really crazy. Oh, is it the pharmacy? Oh, I've never, wait, what pharmacy is this? Greenwich Pharmacy. Oh, it looks very different than like a CVS or somewhere. This is where our, I I'm sorry. Like, I'm just like stewing about that comment still. This is where our neighbor got his $40,000 Rolex. Do you know what kind of people make those comments? Not people that have that kind of money. Because people who have the money to buy $40,000 Rolexes do not say that. They don't blatantly say things like that. And especially like in casual conversation or in passing. Like the people who point out things like that or like try to be like really flashy about it or just throw it in your face or, or just flat out say the price of something. Those are the people that want that lifestyle but aren't at that level. I don't, I just feel like that was a very layered onion comment that she made. <laughs> just very, very strange. That struck me weird. Let me run in for a mouse. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Wow, it's so fancy. Hello. Hello. I'm good. How are you? Well, thank you. They have Elemis. Oh, Elemis. Yeah, I love Elemis. What, the Elemis? Yeah. My mom and I love Elements. These were the soaps I gave you. What are these yesterday? Oh my gosh, it was. These are them.
And they're very brand focused too. You know what I mean? Like every store that they've gone into, Nest. I love their hand sanitizer. I didn't, I'd imagine Nest isn't cheap. YSL, a Louis bag. Everything is so brand focused. Like the first thing that she said when Deb walked into Saks was Balenciaga and Chanel. Like, why are you? <laughs> I feel like the mom. Okay. New theory that I'm kind of like on a hunch with. Like ever since the Rolex comment and just the way that these two interact while shopping, I feel like that mom is money hungry. That's amazing. I don't know. Are they any company? So we were just talking to the girl that works here and she was so nice. She was telling us that she was like a Chanel makeup artist and stuff. And she was really sweet and she asked me not not just a makeup artist, a Chanel makeup artist. Yeah. It was just so nice. And if you were on TikTok, and then and like I told her on YouTube, yeah, it's just stupid haters. They banned me. You know, some of the hardcore haters. So TikTok algorithm works, I guess. There's too many false reports. What do you think about Hate TikTok goes ban? Terrible. Do you think I did anything to get banned? No. I know some people want to say I did, but look into TikTok. My mom's looked into it too. Is it not true, mom, that like there's like a billion false fans on TikTok? Yeah, it's silly because it's the world. Boss. Look into it. You know, and that's that's something I see comments on a lot, a lot about Eugenia. Is go go to any of her videos, look at the comments. You will see this exact comment. People saying, "Why is Eugenia allowed on YouTube? Why is Eugenia? This is horrible." I okay. Again, I agree. I agree in the sense that things are not what they seem. Things are dire. Things are on a precipice here. But is that reason enough to take someone off of a platform like YouTube? Think about it. Think about it. I mean, just because you look at Eugenia and you're visibly concerned and you're visibly worried, you're visibly shocked. I mean, is that enough to take someone off of a platform because you don't like it? Again, I think that 99% of people would be in agreement here of, you know, what's going on and what needs to be done and everything. But can you take someone off of the internet just because, because I mean, it's not like she's coming on here and advocating for anything. I mean, is, is her, is Eugenia being Eugenia advocating for a certain lifestyle. I'm speaking very vaguely. I'm speaking very unclearly, but you know, I, you're not supposed to talk about certain things and I don't want to cross any lines in terms of, you know, making this kind of content. But I mean, is you, is, is, is this person being this person advocating for it or are they just being themselves? And is that reason enough alone to remove them from a platform? On TikTok, apparently, if you report someone enough times, you can just get them taken down. But I mean, YouTube seems to be a little bit more strict about it. It's like you need to be doing something or saying something that goes against their terms of service. And is she doing that? I guess let me know in the comments below. Google, Google it. Because enough robots, they cancel. They even said Google it. You can, okay. you can research it. Yeah, she said it's on TV. They all say, I'm like, they feel like, no, I don't you care deserve who you hate, how you hate. I don't believe in ruining anything. Yeah, anybody's I didn't break guidelines. Life so. of livelihood. I agree. Never in the old days when you think, could not say something? The golden rule. Could I say something good? You'd say nothing at all. Exactly. And it worked. Hopefully one day it's TikTok. It's a kind of gentle world oh, with stability. One day TikTok fixes their algorithm or it like gets well, actual people that work there don't. that actually answer emails. Such a nice lady. She used to be the Chanel. She used to have a beautiful and... skin in us. That's so nice. How sweet you are. Which she yeah. is. Thank you. And you got too we many haters to out there. And hate is never good. Hate's terrible. If you Thank don't you. like something, you don't watch it. Yes. It's a lot of jealousy. Else. Hate comes from jealousy and from being just plain me. This generation, look at how screwed up everything is. The hate, the Also, why does she not make contact when eye contact when she speaks? I feel like when I film myself talking in, I don't know, my car, or like when I'm out and about or whatever, like I'm staring into the camera. I mean, she's like looking off into space. Hate comes from jealousy. Oh my gosh. If you don't have anything nice, don't say it at all. You see what this is exactly what I mean. 
<clears throat> when the constructive criticism voices of reason get lumped in with the people saying, I hope you go to, you know what I mean? When you're lumping those two groups of people together, how do you win? How do you get through to someone like this? So unless you're, you know, someone walking up to Eugenia and going, oh my God, you're so cute. I love you. Hey girl. Like, unless you're saying things like that, you're against her. And it's like, at that point, it's like you, you have to deceive them to try to help them like Jacqueline Glenn did. You have to be their friend. And then when an opportunity presents itself, you have to say, OK, like, let's let's bring this girl back to reality. <laughs> oh, my gosh. this! But I, I'm sorry. Like, I just do not think as long as Deb is around and is controlling everything that goes on with Eugenia, I don't think that she stands a chance. I don't think that there's going to be any way that any person or thing will have a shot at intervention. Intimate shootings. Oh, yeah, terrible, that's all terrible. Awful. They have to try to be kinder. Yeah, like, do And you feel better, too. My mom's a nice person, you see? Like, you just need people to be nice. Gonna answer to the one upstairs, yeah. and he's watching. And the just ones that don't be believe, hey, huh? <laughs> you gotta believe because he gives us strength and helps. He does. All, All right. right, lovely, beautiful girl. Where do you uh -huh. want to go? Where do you want to go? Oh, that was a little interesting comment to throw in there at the end. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna talk about that on here. You know, you don't you don't talk about certain things, and you know, regard like we're watching Eugenia go shopping. We're not here to talk about religion or Christianity or anything like that. But I just thought that that was a very interesting thing for Deb to throw in here at the end. I mean, we're talking about people that are reaching out to her to try to provide assistance, and here you are lumping them in with the same topics as shootings. What does a shooting have to do with someone sending in a hate comment to Eugenia on the internet? And then I, I just love the, the little cherry on top of that little conversation that they had. You know, it's like, well, you know, by the way, you know, I, I'm just saying, you know, you might get away with it now, but, you know, we all answer to one person at the end of the day. Like, Deb, what, what are you, like, what, kind of, what kind of argument are you trying to make here? And are, I mean, are you talking to yourself or are you talking to us? Yo, mom. I don't know. I guess we'll go this way. All right, you guys. So we are just kind of oh, walking just around. Film oh my gosh, I remember them. Yeah, we have pictures of Buzz still from these photographers. Plastic kids. Yeah, they also, I know it's like a kids photography place, guys, but they also do dogs. They took such cute pictures of Buzz. I love those pictures. I love those pictures he still too. Terror. He was so, yeah. oh my gosh, how she got to think. I don't know how they did it. Oh, those are really pretty. Wow. Oh, look at the flowers. Ooh, there's so many pretty flowers today, you guys. Those are so pretty. What are these kind of shirts called? Adirondacks. They have stood outside of Funky Monkey like four times now. They always end up back at Funky Monkey. So really, the thing I said about the car, because remember, they started at Funky Monkey. So they must have parked their car at Funky Monkey, and every time they buy something, oh, let's go put it in the passenger seat. I don't, I don't want to carry on to this. I don't want to hold on to this. I mean, the mom has her little clutch, but I mean, what can that weigh? Like a pound or two? But in terms of them carrying around, I mean, like they bought those giant books from that little boutique store. They're not carrying around those all up and down this strip. Are you kidding me? I see now why they keep ending up at Funky Monkey. It's because the car's parked there. They keep going back to the car. So you guys, these are cool. Are fun shopping bags? Oh, you know. oh, can you just go? And then what's the? That one. You can say cute. They are cute. So yeah, they're like miniature chairs. We did have fun. We we're in this like little patio area here. Little patio. Fun. Break it was cool. I go in. Yeah, it kind of is starting to rain a little bit. Do you want to oh see yeah, my mom is poor knee. Still... How is your knee? Oh, oh my gosh. So swelled. Oh. I feel bad. Oh, it's been my a week. poor mom. It's not your fault though. It hurts too much. Oh, oh I look bet. How swelled it is. Because the doctor telling me I should get a check. Yeah, because I would hope that like blood vessel thing or whatever wasn't true. Oh. 
Okay, maybe touch tomorrow it. or okay, yeah, maybe don't maybe make tomorrow. it more okay, painful. Perfect. Yeah, I feel bad. I hope it buzz. gets better. Let's go see with the yes, little guy. Yes, let's see what Buzz is up to. I think we're. It's so much fun. Thank I'm you glad so you had much. fun. Oh, it's like let's my mom's kind of garden here. You have so many pretty flowers here, mom. Oh, I have to finish up. She did such a pretty job. I got all the dirt around. Oh, okay, maybe another. Oh, you can show. Right. Okay. So yeah, but no, she does such a good job. You guys. Not that this is much of an observation. It's just something I've noticed. Um. Anytime Eugenia's ending a video, and I mean, again, I've only seen like maybe five or six videos of hers now, but anytime that she's ending a video and she's like, thanks for helping out, mom, or thanks for spending the day with me, or thanks for driving me, thanks for coming, like whatever, when she comes to the conclusion of her video, they always feign physical affection with one another. Like Eugenia's like almost going to hug her or like kind of like awkwardly puts her arm out, but like they never hug. It's always just very like, oh, you got, you're you awesome. No, you're awesome. I love you. You're such a good person. It's it's not really that like mother-daughter kind of affection. It, it's like two girlfriends talking. Guys, she has so many pretty flowers. But that's okay. You need dirt for the flowers. They're too big. Are they? Oh, actually, they look so heavy. Yeah, you guys, but her flowers are so pretty. And there's lots more around. So, like, she's she's a good gardener. But these are just some of them. And these are so pretty. They're, like, bright pink. Super pretty. Oh, Buzz is here. Hi, Buzz. And you know what, when I Buzz fell... Buzz gets so excited when you come. When I did fall and this happened to your mom. Oh, my poor mom. I was so afraid we was Buzz. <laughs> He's like, and I'll do it again. <laughs> the lady went to see if she could grab Aww. the but Hi, he Buzz. He right to me like he's going to you and he just was filled with kisses. He's the sweetest Dogs ever. The best, the best. Dogs really are the they best. They love unconditionally. They do. They don't spread rumors that are so mean. Yes, they're much nicer than people. Yes, we had to get Buzz in the video. And that also tells me that Deb is going on the forums. She reads the comments. She goes through and f looks through Eugenia's social media. Because how would you know and how would you feel that strongly to say something like that? Back with like what she said on the sidewalk about people having to answer to, you know, him at the end of the day. Like, why would you feel that strongly unless you knew what people were saying? So I think that Deb plays a big part in Eugenia's social media. I think that she reads a lot of it. Go to say hi to you guys. We do. We love Buzz so much. He's the best. He gets so excited when he sees my mom. He is like especially attached to her. He is. I think he's excited for your birthday too. Again, this might be a stretch too, but notice how she's a little dog was like, strangely attached to her. I mean, you could say the same about Eugenia. I mean, she's not a dog, clearly, but th she is strangely attached to the mom. I mean, she's almost 30. She sits in the back seat of the car. The mom practically lives life for her, does everything. I mean, that's kind of a strange attachment to have, especially at that age. I mean, I could maybe see that if you were, like, a teenager. But... I don't know, d does the mom, because I've known parents like this, does the mom have that desire within her to be liked or to be wanted by other people? Again, like this might be a stretch just because she said that the dog likes her, but I don't know. I I'm just trying to figure out the motivations and who Deb is because I feel like figuring out Deb cracks the code on Eugenia. Yeah, I'm gonna order your bag, but like... You don't have to give me a Louis this I don't mind money. though, and I think you'd well, like it, I so... I know it. Well, who doesn't want I'm gonna hope you would anyway. Too much money. <laughs> there were so many fun things downtown. I don't know. Right? There's a right. lot of good stuff right, though, yeah. Buzz is just like you staring always at you. give me a plant. Plants are always nice. I love <laughs> You Thanks do. You are like the flower plant. queen. It's the thought that counts. Remember yeah. that. Oh, like Buzz. Okay, we want to All right, you guys. Okay. Well, he's gonna sit. Thank you to my mom for okay, filming with me. Um, everybody should wish my. <sighs> All 
All right, so I've, when I do these videos, I've just been kind of like looking through her page and see whatever pops up or whatever. If you guys have specific videos that you think I should go through and look at Eugenia's over the years, let me know. Because someone recommended the whole Jacqueline Glenn thing, and then I looked into that, and then I made a video about it. So just like, I don't know, if there are things like, you know, major events, like we've done, we've done like the thing that happened with the diaper. I mean... If there are things that have happened in Eugenia's little community over the years that you want me to like look into and then react to, but I mean, otherwise, I'm just gonna go through her page and you know whatever video looks reactable to, I'm just gonna do that. But thanks for watching.